Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to Rikia's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make meat and tuna triangle cakes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please please can you do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week. Then stay tuned to enjoy my recipe. On today's ingredients, you're going to need 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, a quarter kg of mincemeat, some salt to taste, black pepper 1 teaspoon, garam masala 1 teaspoon, maggi cube or you can use a jumbo, 1 can of tuna fish, 1.5 lime, 1 slice of onion, 1 grated carrot, a handful of coriander leaves, green bell paper and lastly you're going to need 8 eggs place your mincemeat in a pan or a pot then you're going to add one teaspoon of black paper a half a teaspoon of garam masala some salt to taste maggi cube or jumbo optional then you're going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and give a quick mix. Then squeeze one lime and continue mixing, then cover to let the mincemeat to cook slowly by slowly. Followed by sliced onions and grated carrots and continue mixing and let the mincemeat to cook till well cooked and dry. Once the mincemeat is well cooked and dry, then your mincemeat is ready and remove it from the fire and place aside. So the next step, we're going to make our tuna. In a small pot, you're going to add one can of tuna fish, then add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a half a teaspoon of garam masala, a half a teaspoon of black paper, some salt to taste, and a piece of maggi cube, and mix everything well. Squeeze a half a lime and continue mixing, then add the sliced onions and grated carrots, and mix everything well, and let the tuna to cook slowly by slowly, till well cooked and completely dry. Once your tuna is well cooked and completely dry, then your tuna is ready and remove it from the fire and place aside. The next step, we are going to make the eggs. Divide the eggs into four, sprinkle a bit of salt and add some green paper and some coriander leaves and mix the eggs very well. Then afterwards, you're going to take an oven dish. Add the spiced cooked mincemeat and add one portion of the egg mixture and mix well and spread it around the oven dish as you can see in the video step by step. And my meat cake is ready as you can see in the video and it's high time to bake them in the oven. Repeat the same process with the tuna and it's high time to bake them in the oven. Afterwards, bake in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes till well baked. And after 30 minutes, our meat and tuna cakes are ready, as you can see in the video. Shape them in a triangular shape or any shape that you like. Once you're done cutting them, 
let them to cool down completely before removing them from the oven dish. And my meats and tuna cakes are ready as you can see in the video. These are so, so tasty. Eat along with some fries and any sauce and enjoy your meat tuna cakes. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram, Rukia's Kitchen, for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.